Hi, I'm Scott Harp, and welcome to Show Us Your Stuff, the program where we ask regular old sports collectors to show us their stuff. Today's featured collector is me. So thanks for checking out my 70s and 80s Milwaukee Brewers game used stuff. I was nine years old in 1982 when the Brewers won the American League pennant and went on to the World Series to face the Cardinals. And I think nine is an impressionable age. You really start to kind of starting to decide who your heroes are. And there's a lot of heroes on that team. You had the future Hall of Famers with Yount and Molitor and Fingers and Sutton. Of course, Yount was the MVP that year. Vukovic won the Cy Young. So just a really cool team to watch. Uh, Gorman Thomas had the most home runs in the American League, tied with Reggie Jackson. And Cecil Cooper and Ogilvy and Charlie Moore. And just a really cool group of guys. So when I think about those guys in the, as an adult, it really makes me think of my childhood. A lot of memories of sitting on the on the floor of the living room with my uh, with the rest of my family watching the World Series, and that's uh, why I love the Brewers. My collecting started, I think, like most people, with baseball cards, sports cards, and uh, figures and things like that. It never really dawned on me that I could own game used memorabilia. One day after college, though, I went into this sports store in Milwaukee and I saw one of these powder blue jerseys hanging on the wall. It was Jim Gantner. I couldn't believe it. It was the coolest thing I'd ever seen, and childhood memories were just rushing back. I didn't have much money just out of college, but I did have a credit card. So I walked out of there with that jersey pretty pleased with myself. This is the part of my collection that I'm most proud of. These road jerseys the Brewers wore starting in 78. Every childhood memory I have, these guys are wearing these powder blue jerseys. It just screams that era. I have other jerseys too from different areas and, and they all have their own pluses. But these jerseys, these powder blues, hold my attention more than anything else. My goal is to acquire one of these per year from each of the guys I collect. I know that doesn't sound like much, but they're getting tougher and tougher to come by. For at least five years, that powder blue Jim Gantner jersey was the only piece of game used memorabilia I had. My goals as far as bat collecting is concerned is to have a bat from each of the guys I collect for each of the labeling period that they played with the Brewers. So for example, this is a 1976 bat of Charlie Moore, the bicentennial bat that Louisville Slugger had the uh, Liberty Bell insignia on it. Well, as much as I would love a bicentennial bat of Cecil Cooper, it doesn't really fit into my collection because Cooper didn't play for the Brewers until 1977. So I have bats of Robin Yount, and Ted Simmons, Jim Gantner, Gorman Thomas, Ben Ogilvy, Charlie Moore, and Paul Molitor. And these are the guys I collect. And so by the time I'm done, my bat collection will probably at least quadruple. Bats and jerseys hold my attention more than anything else and thus make up the bulk of my collection. But I do have a couple of other odds and ends here that I, that I like very much as well. Fielder's gloves, for example, are very rare where a player might use dozens of bats every season. He might only use one, two, three gloves his whole career. We got a fielder's glove here of uh, Cecil Cooper. And another uh, first baseman's mitt from uh, Ted Simmons. This is a, a great story, actually. I, uh, I was at a card show or a signing with, uh, with Ted Simmons, and the guy who owned this glove at the time was right in front of me uh, in line to get Simmons' autograph, and he had this glove. He had gotten it from the team electrician. And, and just as, as he handed it over to Simmons, Simmons looked at it, and his eyes lit up, and he said, Whoa, this is my trapper. You got my trapper. And Sal Bando was sitting next to him signing autographs. He says, Sal, look at this. This guy's got my trapper. And so you can see here he signed it, uh, Ted Simmons, my trapper, game used. And so as soon as, uh, as, soon as he did that, I, I kind of said to myself, boy, if this guy ever sells that, uh, that glove, I'm going to buy it. And sure enough, he did. Uh, got a, a great old uh, 1980s batting helmet from Gorman Thomas. This is just a really classic style that, that, I, that I like a lot. I got batting gloves, including uh, Molitor and Yount and uh, even some old spikes from Cecil Cooper and uh, 
these shoes show up on uh, uh, the style match for these shoes show up on almost every picture you see of Cecil Cooper from that era. Well, thanks for checking out my collection, which is modest compared to many others I've seen, but that's fine with me. I don't collect for quantity or monetary value. I collect what I like, and that's, I think, good advice. Until next time on Show Us Your Stuff, go Brewers, and we'll see you soon.